college football gambling picks week number two. How you feeling, buddy? I'm feeling good, man. Feeling like a winner? That's right. Here's the deal. First off, Tunica, Mississippi is bringing you this segment, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can watch and wager on all of these games at any of Tunica's five, soon to be six, fantastic, incredible, amazing sports books. Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Hollywood, First Jackpot. Coming soon, the sports book at the Fitz. You can get more information over at tunicatravel.com. You can also get these picks and whatnot over at winningcureseverything.com. And if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button for us. Let's jump right in. We're going to try and roll through these. This is like a rapid fire segment, isn't it? Before you go, we oh, get the into football, these. football pick them. Pick them. I almost forgot about it again. Well, I, d- I didn't almost. I completely forgot about yeah, it. Yeah, you did. But that's why you're here. That's look. That's what we do. You bring this you bring this thing in. Football pick 'em contest over at the website winningcureseverything.com. You go up to the top, you go all the way over to the right on the little bar. It says football pick 'em or football contest. It's whatever. free. It's free. Sign up this week. You're picking 10 games against the spread. You got 7 college games, 3 NFL games, and the winner who by the way went 9 and 1 last week. You better bring your A game, boys. Believe that. Uh Nine and one against the spread is crazy. That's hard. That's to crazy. Do. That is um, hard to do. But the the winner this week gets a free night stay at Fitz Casino and two free buffet tickets for your visit down there. So go check that thing out. Winningcureseverything dot com. Let's jump right into the picks. I'm gonna go with my first one. All right, go ahead. Nevada at Vanderbilt. You know I don't like betting all the big games. I know. Vanderbilt minus nine. It's Saturday, 11 a.m. on SEC Network in Nashville. The public is all over Nevada because they whooped up on Portland State last week, 72-19. to Look, Vandy crushed Middle Tennessee State 35-7 to last week. 6.29 yards per play on offense to only like three for Middle Tennessee State. So, Nevada went 3-9 and last year just because they beat Portland State, who is an FCS team, does not mean that they are all that good. Roll with Vanderbilt minus the nine, I'm telling you, this is a win. But I, you know what I didn't do? I didn't give him a recap. I went three and four against the spread last week. Not good. Not a good thing. Chris, however, went four, two, and one. We're going to give you an update on that every week. But I'm telling you this week, Vandy minus nine is your play. Getting back on the saddle. All right. I'm going to give you, I'm betting coaches that I like. This is just a, this is just a theme. Bill Clark, maybe one of my top four or five favorite coaches to root for and, 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 and cheer for at UAB. They're going on the road to a place that I can't imagine is very hostile in coastal Carolina. <laughs> not not so much. The lay, declares. You're, lay, you're laying 10 points. Lay the 10. Rival Bill Clark. That's all you need. Are they still the Blazers? Yeah, they're still the Blazers. The Dragons? Yeah. I like Still them. the Blazers. Like and Bill them. Clark's good against the spread. He's, you, la- you rode him a lot last uh, year. Last year – that man made me a lot of money. Believe that. Game number two for me, as my shirt says, cash and tickets is what it's all about. Thank you, Mr. Brent Musburger. We appreciate that. Kentucky plus 14 and a half at Florida, Saturday night, 6.30 p.m. SEC Network at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville, Florida. Look, Kentucky only gave up 3.86 yards per play to Central Michigan last week. I understand. Directional school, whatever. They went 35-20, to 20, but that was with four turnovers. Their turnover luck was awful last week. They still won by two touchdowns. They have had this game against Florida circled every year for 32 years. If they lose this year, that is 32 straight years that they have lost to Florida. That is absurd. Absolutely absurd. Now, I ain't going crazy here. I ain't going straight up, but 14 and a half points is insane to me. I don't think Kentucky's going to win. They will keep it close because their running game and their defense, which has eight starters back this year, is going to keep this thing close. Florida gave up over four and a half yards per carry last week to whatever high school team they were playing. Kentucky, their running game, they went for 300 yards last week. They got a mobile quarterback. They got a running back, Benny Snell. I'm telling you, Kentucky is keeping this game close. I'm with you. Cash and tickets, plus like 14 it. and a half. I like it. 
Have some big wave over. Let's put some money line money on it. Let's do it. Let's do it. A- after 31 years, I don't think I'm doing it. You and me. <laughs> not and not me. after 28, 27 last year. Come on. And on the Commonwealth, man. I, gonna, I can't do it. I'm going to talk you into that. My second <laughs> my second pick, I'm going with my boys, Westlot Pirates. I didn't ride with them last week. I bet against them. You bet against them? I bet against them. Dude, I rolled with them. I bet against them. I bet, that was one of the three I hit. Yeah. And uh, I like this team. They, they're w- way better on both sides of the ball, offensively and defensively, than I was expecting. Um, I, I like Duke, well-coached team. They're going on the road. Westlight, not Westlight. <laughs> Northwestern. <laughs> Northwestern, <laughs> see, I done got it all stuck in my head. Northwestern gets to go home after a big conference win on the road. I think that place is going to be fired up. I think the yeah. fans are going to show up, ready to jump and, and, and go crazy. I think they're going to win. I think they're going to cover easily. They're laying three. Take Northwestern. Number three game for me, Appalachian State. Minus 13 and a half at Charlotte. Saturday, 5 p.m. It's on ESPN Plus, so you better get your free trial this week. In Charlotte, North Carolina. Look, the line is short, shorter than it should be, uh, due to Charlotte's big 34 to 10 win over Fordham last week, right? But what you need to pay attention to is that Charlotte is 6 and 39 overall the last four years. Against FBS schools in 2017, Charlotte averaged 12.6 points per game. They were held to seven points or less five times last year. App State had 5.93 yards per play at Penn State, and they're going to be fired up to get their first win, even though this one's on the road. Charlotte sucks. Bottom line, if you can get this under two touchdowns, you struck gold. Even if it goes over two touchdowns, doesn't matter. App State is crushing these dudes. My next pick, I'm going with our University of Memphis Tigers. <laughs> They're going on the road to Navy. Got a little road test. You you put a I think Navy put a little bit on this last night, little, didn't I you? Put a little, I put something. You, you put something, a little something something on something that one. On this one Ooh, now. Boy, yeah, because I looked at you like you were crazy. Got the hot sauce out. <laughs> now I will tell you, I got a pretty good line, which is why I got the hot sauce out. I got them at four and a half. That's what I got a ticket for. Yep. That's what Less it says. than 24 hours later, it's it is six seven. and a half. It was oh, seven, seven before we checked. Good I gracious. Checked it. It's now seven. I'm going to tell you this. I'd still lay the seven. I know that Navy is going to have a bounce back. I know that Navy is going to be better. But, and Navy's at home. Here's the difference. Navy is the one that has to travel from Hawaii, 30-something hours, plane ride all the way back to Navy. All the way back to Annapolis, Maryland. All to the other coast, the other ocean. Well, the other side of this is that Navy gave up 59 points to Hawaii, gave up like 400-something yards passing. Could have scored 100. Uh, yeah. Memphis it definitely could have. They were up 56 nothing at the I, half. I told Brady them. White went 22 out of 28 for like 350 yards or whatever it was and five touchdowns in the first half. I know, I know they played nobody, but you can't do that against air. Yeah. I mean, if you're just running drills, guys are going to drop balls or you're going to throw it just a little bit off a point here or there. I told you I like this Memphis team. I didn't have the huevos to take them to go undefeated this year. I picked them 11-1. and I think I might be wrong on that. I think they're going to kill a lot of these teams. There's going to be a couple of games where they're going to be tested. Week two against Navy coming off of butt whippings, not one of them. They beat Navy. I think they even cover the seven pretty easy. Whew. All right, number four for me, Georgia Tech, minus three at South Florida. Saturday, 11 a.m. game on ABC at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. South Florida lost three out of four starters from the defensive line last year. They're playing three guys that have zero experience in their back seven starting. Look, Georgia Tech returns eight starters on offense. That is key for running the triple option. South Florida gave up 192 rushing yards to Elon last week. Almost five yards a carry. That is absurd. Georgia Tech is going to run all over these dudes. And while South Florida might be able to score a little bit, I don't think they can score enough because they're not going to have the ball enough. Georgia Tech minus three on the road at South Florida. Roll with it. So I'm going to take a play out of your book. You like Wyoming. I learned a lot about Wyoming this past week. Now, I took the Cougars because I'm never going to bet against Mike Leach. I understand that. Mike I Leach liked is, Wyoming last Mike week. Mike Leach is a much superior coach. Than 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 the Craig Bolt, yeah, yeah. Okay. He's just he's just he's unbelievable, unworldly. Wyoming coming to Missouri, I think 
they're going to keep this game really close. They're catching 17 and a half points, man. I think that was actually up to 18 today. Was it really? Yeah. I got it at 17 and a half last night. Yeah. I like Wyoming, and it wouldn't shock me if Wyoming pulls an upset out here. I think you're right. Like it, Wyoming is is good enough on the run game and everything to to slow that. Like it's another one of those things where they will hold on to the football forever because Missouri cannot can't stop, stop the run. They can't. They're gonna they're gonna maintain possession, and and Missouri can score. But I, I don't know, man. I you're giving up almost. How much can points. you score if you don't have the ball? That's right. I, I'm just a big fan. I, I like. I learned a lot about Wyoming. Watched them even in the loss. Even though they didn't cover last week, it doesn't matter. Um, and I kind of like that they kind of got beat up a little bit. They're going to be coached up hard this week. I think they're going to go to Missouri. I think they're going to give them hell. Liberty at Army is my fifth game. Army minus nine and a half. All right. Uh, this is Saturday, 11 a.m., CBS Sports Network. It's in West Point, New York. The public is all over Liberty. Okay. Because they I were. I don't know that many people are actually all over Liberty. Well, I, I'm just looking at the betting trends, at the, the money the, that's coming the, in in Vegas. The nine people that have bet this game have all picked Are all game. going on Liberty. The reason being, they beat Old Dominion last week 52-10. to 10. They were a five-point underdog, and they came out and whooped them. Army lost 34-14 to 14 at Duke, so of course people are swapping the lines, right? Here's the deal, though. You go back and check that thing out, Liberty scored four times late against Old Dominion after turnovers and just bad decisions like going forward on fourth down when they didn't have to, all that kind of stuff. Army's triple option is going to demolish these dudes. That minus nine and a half demolish. is a gift. That is a gift. Go, don't bet the mortgage. But I feel good about this one. Liberty ain't that good. Army is really good. Jeff Munkin is fantastic as a coach. I'm telling you, Army all over that one. My next two picks, I'm just going to give them back-to-back real quick. We'll cover some time because the theory behind it are the exact same. Okay. I like taking teams the second week that come off of real big scares and or close losses where they should have handled a team. Okay. I'm going to take Penn State minus nine. I'm taking Kansas State plus ten. Penn State, it's a rivalry game, but it doesn't matter. They're on the road. Nah, not really. There's going to be more Penn State fans there than Pitt fans. Pitt has ruined their season in the past. It won't happen this week in week two. They almost got beat by Appalachia State. James Franklin, unbelievable coach. He's going to have those boys ready to go. The fighting Bill Schneiders, they're not giving up double digits to Mississippi State at home. I think you're, I think you're probably right. I know Mississippi State beat up on a high school team, and I know that Kansas State didn't look very good, and, and I know that that equals that Mississippi State should come in there and route them. Look. No, it's not no, the same. Sir. No, sir. Bill Snyder. Bill Snyder will have these guys correcting the things that they did wrong. He'll have them ready to go for Mississippi State. Mississippi State might win. They're not coming into Kansas State's house dropping double digits. I can roll with that. Eastern Michigan at Purdue. Purdue minus 15 in this one, Saturday, 11 a.m., Big Ten Network, in front of 62,000 screaming fans at Ross Aid Stadium in West Lafayette, Indiana. Are you feeling me? Are you feeling me? Purdue, boy. Jeff Brom went 3-0 and straight up and against the spread in their non-conference last year. Eastern Michigan does not have the horses to stay in this ball game. They gave up 5.5 yards per carry to Monmouth and 5.08 yards per play to Monmouth. Last week, I understand they won the ball game, but you giving up that many yards, it's going to bite you eventually. Purdue averaged eight point oh eight yards per carry against Northwestern. They looked really good in that game. Yes. That was a great game to watch. That Thursday night game oh, yeah. opened the season off. Unbelievable game. Rondell Moore and DJ Knox are going to run all over the place on these dudes. Purdue minus fifteen. That line ain't near big enough. My last pick for the week. I'm giving it to you. This is the one that scares me, but it's probably the one I love the most. Because <laughs> you love crazy. I love Will Muschamp. And I love this South Carolina Gamecocks. I love Debo Samuel. And I really don't like Georgia. <laughs> At least you're being honest with everybody. Oh, no, no doubt. No doubt. Right. They're bigger. They're stronger. They're faster. I don't give a damn. They're going to go into Columbia. They're going to take the L. I got money line action riding on this game. Give me the 10 and a half points. Wait till closer to game time. You'll get it at 11. You might get it at 12. It's going to keep getting bigger. Let the public just keep blowing Kirby Smart. Let them just keep dumping money on the other side. (laughs) It's going to work out for you. 
Take the South Carolina Gamecocks. Will Muschamp is crazy. Yeah, he is. USC at Stanford is my last one. Stanford minus four. Saturday, 7.30 p.m. ESPN at Stanford Stadium in... No, this is a Fox game, isn't it? It's the Fox game. It's the think Fox it's, game. I think I wrote it, it down wrong. 4 p.m.? No, no, it's 7.30. Oh, 7.30 okay. p.m. Yeah, it's a night game. Uh, it's in Palo Alto. Uh, JT Daniels, first road game against a stout Stanford defense. Bryce Love had a miserable week one. Uh, but against USC last year, he averaged 7.31 yards per carry in two games against USC. That's That was a lot of carries. It was like 40 carries. He's going to have to do yeah. better than he was last week. Uh, revenge factor is there as Stanford lost to SC twice last year. And for real, K.J. Costello is legit. Stanford quarterback, 21 out of 31 last week, 332 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. K.J. Costello and Bryce Love are going all over the place on, on SC this weekend. That four points ain't near enough. I would be willing to go up to anything under a touchdown. Wow. I'd be down with that. There you go. So, you got all the information you need. Go be a winner. Go down to Tunica. Put your money in. Look, get some action. Go down and watch some games. Drink some beers. Drink some brew ha ha's. Let's do this thing. But go be a winner. Go down to Tunica. You can figure out more at tunicatravel.com or all of this mess over at winningcureseverything.com.